Hey there, YouTube. This is Curse of Bogar with my brother's national deck profile. Um, he did get his invite because he basically cheated. Air quotes there. Uh, he played Dragon Duel four days before his birthday. He was about to turn 13. Went to a Columbus Regionals four days before his birthday. And uh, as you most of you will know, uh, Dragon Duel is top four. Get the Esadari mat, invite to Nats. And that, I think that's it. And a Dragon Duel t-shirt. Well, he got lucky and only four people entered, so no matter what, he was going to get his invite, which was bull. But he decided to build a very good deck for Nats. Uh, it does very well against my Tengu Synchro, even when I'm proxying Globe Ball, Librarians and such, because uh, this deck can keep up with the meta very easily. He built this deck, made it more innovative, uh, keeping up with the meta. It's very good, i um, got to say that much. But on to the Synchros, or the yeah, main deck. I'm proxying, oh, by the way, we're proxying some stuff, too, because we couldn't find all the things for this deck. So, if you want to meet me at the Nationals, you have any of this, just, um, trade me for them. Thanks. Uh, Three Fortune Lady Light, it's the number one card in this deck, and it, I'm pretty sure it does not work with Chain Disappearance, since it has unidentified attack in the deck. So, yeah, not really sure, but he's really good. She's really good. Three Fortune Lady Dark, this is the main one, uh, this and Light are the two main ones, because they, uh, this will spam out all the ones in your graveyard, uh, it's, they all get attacked, so it's harder for them to get, like, run, ran over, and the deck's just, like, clearly fast enough, because Dark is able to spam out stuff like that. You have two Earth, she's the bigger one of all the Fortune Ladies, she does damage each time she levels, so, yeah, um, yeah, she's pretty big. It's hard to run over it eventually, um, but moving on, you have two of the best DR in this deck, two Fortune Lady Wind, uh, when it's supposed to summon, or when it's, uh, hold on, let me read this, when it's normal summoned, you can destroy spells and traps equal to number of Fortune Ladies you have, and sometimes that could be up to four, five Fortune Ladies, three Fortune Ladies, so you're able to pop a massive amount of, ma amount of back row with this, and if you have five Fortune Ladies because of dark spamming, and light spamming, you'll be able to just pop all their back rows, and uh, this it wrecks Gravekeepers fairly easily. Next, you have two of the Mermillo, basically, um, Fortune Lady Fire, except for when it's supposed to summon by Fortune Lady effect, it destroys a monster and inflicts damage equal to the attack, so it could be a lot of piercing damage. It uh, is like, very effective when you're playing Tango Synchro, you summon a big Trishula, and this just comes out because of Earth. Uh, there's a way to get fort special summon stuff in your opponent's turn in this deck but this is just very big it's hard to it's a good part of the deck for the speed and consistency of the deck we have only two water uh... it just lets you draw two cards when it's spammed out which could be easily done by dark um... you could discard this for one for one and just dark and brave you know but yeah and two techs for nationals my brother is running two cats of plebis because you can remove from play one of your fortune ladies in grave to negate a special summon of a monster and destroy it. Like, destroy a special summon monster. Or, when you put a special summon a monster, you can remove from play one monster with question mark attack in your graveyard to destroy that special summon monster or monsters. It's 1800 attack, zero defense beater, so it could ram into Tengu easily and um, just stops most meta decks out there, and it's a very good card against this meta. Now, that's the monster lineup, is fairly small because this deck is spell reliant. But I need three future visions, so if you guys have three, that'd be awesome. But this deck is the main card of the deck. It really wrecks up a lot of pl decks like plants, synchroing, uh, junk synchron, debris dragon, stuff like that. Wrecks six samurai, and it's just amazing. And you almost always have it because you have two terraforming as well, which can be dead. But that's what your one for one is for. Um, and this is just to spam out your light first turn and get rid of it easily with uh, many spells and traps in this deck. But next, we're attacking in one solidarity because the cards are very hard to run over. Like, they gain levels, so they're harder and harder to run over. But if you have a solidarity on field, it's going to be very difficult to get rid of a fortune lady, especially dark, which can keep spamming out stuff. Next, we're attacking in three time passage because it is a quick play spell that could really mess up your opponent. If they're trying to destroy an earth, you could time passage, inflict 1200 damage with earth's effect, and have it run over your opponents. So basically, this is somewhat of an honest or a colute, and it's just uh, very good. Um, helps you special summon dark, like destroy, use dark's effect, special summon during the end phase as well, or 
when it just runs over something on your opponent's turn. Next, uh, we need one more of these. We can't really find it, but you play three enemy controller because your light says when it's removed from the field by a card effect. Well, enemy controller is a card effect, paying a cost, so you do run. Uh, you can search for a light when you take your opponent's monster, and it's um, very good in this deck. It can help you, protect you um, from attacks and whatnot. Just in case you don't have a response or back row, and just because of traps then as well. Now for staples, you have a dark hole, true nade, double MST, book of moon, and monster reborn. That's the spells. Now there are five slots left to make this deck forty, so we chose to play three compulsory evacuation device. This could be very helpful stopping synchros, but it could also you be used on light, so you could special summon light. It use light's effect to special summon. So compulse is very good. And this video is long enough, so I'm about to end the deck profile from all this explaining. We play one Inherited Fortune and one Call of the Haunted, because Call of the Haunted could get back your Dark and Wreck stuff, get more monsters to reverse the game, or Inherited Fortune just to, you know, um, just in case you have the handful of Fortune Ladies, and it can just, unfortunately it can always die, you can just spam two more big ones out. So this is very good, um... I hope you guys like this deck profile. This is what he will be running at Nats. Um, don't copy the deck list. I'll fuck you guys up. Uh, I'm kidding. I don't care if you copy it. But you would never really play it as well as my brother. My brother is very good at this game. He can think f really well. I'm going to take a quick run through of the deck real fast. If the glare weren't nasty as shit. Yeah. This deck is really good against the meta. It does catch up with the meta fairly easily. And um, it's just fast. It can spam out a lot of stuff. It's like, and it does not need an extra deck. That is what the good part of this deck is. It does not need an extra deck, which is very good. But, um, thanks for watching, YouTube. Hope you keep on subscribing. Hope you like my vids. Uh, thumbs up my vids. Favorite my vids. That'd be awesome. Uh, I signed up, as you could tell, I signed up for a partnership. I could show that right now. When you go on my channel, I did sign up for a partnership from popular vids and whatnot. I had the ad next to my videos. But, um... Obviously, the only way to get the partnership is if you get uh, 1,000 subs. I'm at 284. So, yeah, if you keep on subscribing to me, that would be awesome. I really want to get partnered soon. Um, I'm going to try putting my videos on some big YouTubers. I'm going to Nats, so I'll be um, recording vids with some big guys like Mcole40, Senor Blanco88. Um, most, some of you guys will hate this, but Silva, maybe, um, Thunderpants... Vexicus and Bertha. And Bertha and Vexicus are going to be sleeping on my house Sunday night, so I could have videos of that. Um, it's going to be pretty fun. Nats is going to be amazing. This is going to be my first Nationals. And um, really hoping to have fun there. I need to borrow some cards to finish my deck, though. I have not I have not got qualified yet, so I'm going to LCQs, like most of you, if you're going. And um, if you guys have any cards that I could borrow for my Tengu Synchro deck, Four LCQs, that would be awesome. Um, but, you know, I just really want to have a fun time at Nats this year. Um, first time going, obviously, I said this already. But my binder's pretty shit right now since I sold my collection. And, yeah, um, this deck is pretty much all I got, and it's still not even completed. So, thanks for watching, YouTube. Uh, thumbs up, favorite, subscribe, etc. Hoping to get partnered by, the end, by next summer. But, yeah, my total views so far of all my, like, tsh, hold on, I don't even think it says that on my channel. My channel, my total upload of views is 25,000, so it's like, I think, a quarter way there or something. I don't know, but thanks for watching, YouTube, hope you enjoy, and yeah, peace out.